Good morning, ma'am. Very good morning and welcome. I hope you are all ready. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. So I hope you are all set. Good morning, ma'am. Yeah, so who 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 will uh, help us? Uh, I think uh, we maybe we can start with um, maybe we can we can take up from here. He stood amazed at Josephine's piercing cry. Let's take up from here. So who's reading from here? Uh, we can take up from someone was opening the door. All right, okay. and then we we'll finish. Someone was opening the door. Page fifty-seven. Let's take it up from here. Who's doing the reading for us? Am I? Please go ahead. Radhika. He stood amazed at Josephine's piercing cry. At Richard's quick motion to scream him from the view of his wife. All right. So now what's happening here is that uh, we already did it yesterday. That how she was coming down, you know, from this side. She she was kind of coming down. Uh, just let me take Mika in. So she was upstairs and she's coming down. And this is the front door, isn't it? That's what we said. And as she was coming down uh, here, uh, here. Uh, 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 the husband is opening the door, right? We did that. And we have uh, Josephine shouting out, oh my God, you know, and she sees, she is able to see Mr. Malad. So she screams loud, you know, she says, oh, what's this? You know, she's amazed. Naturally, anyone would be, when you see a person alive for whom you have been mourning and, you know, like you've spent the whole day thinking the person is dead. So obviously one would be. And uh, Richard tries to, uh, screen the view. He 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 tries to come here so that uh, Louis, Mrs. Mallard, won't be able to see from there. That take a lunch. So you know that's what happened. But he's late, and uh, uh, Louis has seen Mr. Mallard. Louis has seen the husband. Uh, Josephine screamed, you know, she actually screamed and uh, he tried to scream, but everything failed. And Louis, Mrs. Mallard is able to see uh, the husband who has walked in, you know, looking disheveled and he's carrying an umbrella and probably he's carrying uh, and probably he's carrying uh, uh, a suitcase or some some kind of a, you know, it says here, what is the word used here? Grip sack. Okay, so that doesn't mean bori, but it just means he is carrying some kind of a small handbag or something. So he, he has come and he's alive. And I left at a point where we were discussing, and I think uh, very well it was brought out by Priya that uh, it's a very funny situation. And uh, we had uh, <clears throat> Divyanshu also saying that I think, uh, okay, I put this up question again today. Now, M uh, Louis, should she be should 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 is something conventional expected okay should should is something to do be as hi hona chahiye society has decided so i'm asking that question should she be sad to see the husband alive or should she be happy to see the husband alive should mind you my question is about should so what do you think happy Ma'am, she should be happy. Ma'am, she should be happy. Should. Isn't it? When it comes to should, Ansh, how come you Ansh Chaudhary and Ansh is same or somebody else? Ma'am, Ansh Chaudhary is Tanisha. 
अच्छा ओके ऑल राइट बिकॉज आई वॉज जस्ट थिंकिंग यू नो वी हैव वॉट गोस्ट यू नो और वन अंश ऑलरेडी हियर एन अनादर वन यू नो ट्राई टू कम इन द डोर इज ओपनिंग एन अनादर अंश इज एंट्रिंग यू नो जस्ट कुड बी आई सॉट इट सीम्स क्वाइट पॉसिबल दैट द होल स्टोरी इज कमिंग यू नो वेरी मच अ लाइफ बिफोर अस सो वेरी राइटली यू सेड मे बी यू नो आई थिंक द वे द वे पीपल लुक एट इट इट वुड बी समथिंग लाइक दैट that uh, she should be she should be happy now my second question now my second question this is the expected expectation the society will have from any married woman that the woman if she sees the husband alive after thinking he is dead would should be should be ought to be it's her duty it ought to be or naturally and most of the places would be happy would be happy would naturally be happy now my question what do you think louis will feel how do you think louis will feel? now this is subjective she not happy. this is subjective this is specifically about a particular woman about whom we have been studying so now my question is how do you think would she will not happy she will not be happy give me one reason why she will not be happy give me one reason why because she, she loves her freedom uh she because she loves her freedom she won't be happy let's try and understand this part she loves her freedom that's <laughs> i have mrs mallard waiting outside what should i do let's take her in call her <laughs> we have called her <laughs> mrs mallard is entering let's see this is mallard in the room now are you able to has she come in no anyways the moment when she comes in then we'll talk about it abhi let it be let let mrs mallard come in whoever it is in okay so do you think she would and i have a mr lewis also <laughs> this is getting very interesting and i have mr lewis waiting out <laughs> in the waiting <laughs> oh my goodness this is so interesting you know you children really make it so happening in the classroom you know it's like i forget how old i am and you know like uh, with you all it's like i feel, i start feeling so good and so happy uh, and i want to go on with you all then yeah so we were talking of you think because she wants her freedom she won't be happy let's understand this part very clear because otherwise answer likhne mein ye gadbad aa jayegi she wants freedom therefore she won't be happy that means um, that means the blame is with her that she thinks marriage is a trap that marriage will make her a slave or or is it something different why why does she not want mr mallard to be coming back alive why do you think suppose mr mallard gave her all the freedom suppose mr mallard would say do what you want get up when you want dress what you want cook what you want um, you know it's your house it's your house honey do the way you want you want to keep the sofa there keep it there you want to put that curtain put that if some day you say you don't feel like cooking it's okay i'll cook for you would she want mr mallard back then yes ma'am anyone would yes ma'am anyone would mam but i think a bit ha 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 sure 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 go ahead uh, go ahead priya we are discussing but i think a bit today. differently yeah yeah let's hear what i think is see it took her so it was so hard for her to come from the from that brief to that from autumn to spring true, so true. i think that journey was very hard for her yeah so i think she will be sad because of that it took it took her so long uh oh, it was very hard time right to come from autumn to spring 
and to find uh, her independence think, and find her own yeah. soul and you know meet yeah, herself yeah yeah that's what i'm trying to say uh, yeah 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 i get it i get it now i'm taking you a little earlier than that why did why was there autumn one because of death understood from the death she has come but let's try and understand there were two parts in the whole story telling us that why was it autumn was it autumn uh, death was autumn or her life was an autumn Ma'am, her life was an autumn. Life was an autumn. Please let's let's go slow on this. See, today basically, you know, today I'm taking up questions with you so that you'll be ready and you'll be able to answer. Ah, uh, Mrs. Malal is coming or not? Not. Let's welcome. No, Abhi nahi aaye. Bahar hi hai. Come on, you can admit that. Has Mr. Uh, uh, has uh, who? Mr. Malal coming? Check out. No, ma'am. Aaye nahi andar wo log. Kyun nahi aa rahe? Hum to bula rahe hain unko. Oh boy we are waiting and we are doing your chapter only we are discussing your life mr malad and mrs malad please come in we are discussing your life and we are trying to understand how to score 20 on 20 uh, 15 on 15 now now that it's changed yes your uh, your syllabus is further reduced but you know like well already we have what we have is more than enough already what we have so that's good enough they have reduced uh, two more you already put it in the <clears throat> correct we just got the news we just got the information yesterday and abhi bhi there was a conference going on i was just part that's why i got delayed in starting the class there's a conference going on just now on the council and further things will also be decided in that in that meeting but i thought koi baat nahi let me come and take the class you know i was just in two minds kya karu kya karu should i continue to be a part of the conference or come with you i said nahi conference the recorded version bhi mil jayega or uh, since sir is attending it i said sir will share uh, let me go meet you all so therefore i thought ki okay, let me take the class i have two mrs malard walking in now and they refused to come in though i have invited them yes so rudrika very rightly you brought it out that you see her life was already an autumn this we come to know much later much later after the second autumn according to the world it is the autumn according to the world when is the autumn in her life let's take death of her husband death of the husband is the autumn according to people but then we are yes, pri- we are privy you know we are privy to her thoughts we she's taken us into confidence and told us all her thoughts right and we come to know oh ho ye autumn nahi hai ye to duniya soch rahi autumn hai autumn to already chal raha tha unki life mein already there was autumn in her life in fact what people are calling autumn has become spring for her are you with me are you understanding the 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 trajectory the whole uh, you know journey that is found in the whole story once you've got it clear you'll be able to put down because i'll be giving you questions today and i hope you'll be able to sketch them and i'm trying to sketch them now orally so that you you'll be clear so question again um mrs malad is there she's coming please welcome yes ma'am yeah please welcome mrs malad mrs malad please we want to have a look at you please switch on the video you agree all of us we all want to see mrs malad yes ma'am <laughs> yes ma'am mrs malad yes ma'am we all want to have a look she at you she is saying that her camera is ma'am, broken ma'am she is saying that her camera is broken <laughs> <laughs> all right mrs malad says autumn in my whole life my camera is broken oh my god oh ho 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 but you can't have autumn learn from real learn from this mrs malad look the way she is celebrating you know whatever has come in her life come on mrs malad you you cannot feel like that not with us once you walk into 12c you cannot have autumn you agree you agree class in 12c we yes, make ma'am. sure everybody yes, has ma'am. spring when we are together in 12c we all have spring we none of us can ever have autumn once you are part of our class guaranteed she is also ex- she is also agreed 
she's also agreed she's Great. also agreed thank you <laughs> this is so much fun you know we'll all remember this all our life you know how there was a mrs malad and and it's okay you keep your identity we don't want to know who you are and it's good is something somebody has taken that up and is doing it with us it's nice you know i think it's playful and it's enjoyable as long as you know she is a part of us so thank you mrs malad for joining us and let's hear from you what do you think you will be happy to see your husband am i asking the right question mrs malad please tell us would you be happy to see your husband alive Yes. She is saying yes. Of course, why not? Why not? Oh my God! <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. So you say that you would be happy. And here, when we are talking of the other Mrs. Malad mm -hmm. of the story of Anas, mm -hmm. uh, and we are almost all of us are feeling that this Mrs. Malad may not be happy. That's what we are all thinking. That's what we are all arriving at. Am I right, class twelve? Yes, ma'am. That knowing her life, knowing that her freedom, like Priya said, she has found newly found freedom. All right, found freedom. But like I said, I gave you an example. Suppose Mr. Malad was, you know, like okay, saying you want to have a pizza, you have a pizza. You want to have dal, you have dal. You don't want to cook karela ever. Please don't ever cook it. It's okay. And if Mr. Malad said. Why don't you sit down, honey? You must be so tired. Let me get you some cold coffee. I'll make some cold coffee for you and get it for you. What do you think? Would she not run into the arms of Mr. Malad? Yes, ma'am. She will. Any no? No. Okay. No, ma'am. It's already there in the book, isn't uh -huh. it? because no uh, suppose it's suppose already this, this, the, no oh. but it, we are supposing we are supposing oh. that oh, suppose if mr malad was this kind of a man you know suppose after the death mrs malad said you know oh i'm going to miss him because he used to make lovely coffee for me and you know he gave me freedom and i was myself when i was with him i have never been freer than when i used to be with him you know now i feel like a slave because he used to make me feel free he used to make me feel like a bird he used to encourage me to do whatever i was good at he was a motivator he used to bring me out of my of my shell he used to make me feel so comfortable he used to encourage me he was my mentor i felt like a goddess of victory when he was alive because he was a part of my life and he used to make me feel like a goddess he used to put me on a pedestal i miss him if this was the situation if this is what she had told us on page 56 suppose if this was she told us then do you think she would be very happy to see mr malar or not yes ma'am she must be very very happy yes and yes, then she then she would be this is a supposition so we'll use the word would then she would have been but yes ma'am but but are you understanding from the way of contrast i'm trying to put some things to you priya are you with me here are we getting this supposition yes yes ma'am right yes ma'am but the reality is the reality is she felt like a slave when mr malad was there and she feels free when mr malad is ma'am please take sneha and gurveen ash they are waiting in the waiting room yeah yeah i can see them i almost forgot yeah taken them in so the situation is this that now i'm leaving this for you children you know i just gave you an example of a lovely partner and the husband also may want something from the wife i have no idea the boys can tell us what would they want in a wife i probably was trying to talk as a woman that as a wife what would i probably want you know my husband to do i am very happy i think um, you know in the morning uh, some days when sir gets me a cup of tea and he says it's okay 
the tea is here for me today and you know it's like oh wow that's so nice aaj to holiday ka maza aa gaya because i'm treated with a lovely tea in the morning a good green cup you know that green tea that i love so it's nice just sharing something uh, so i don't know how boys would want it what would they want i have brentley mallard again coming in now let me keep taking all these whoever it is you know let them let them enjoy it's okay we all are ready to enjoy it together yeah so uh boys could you you i would love to hear from you what would you want uh, uh, you know in a wife and uh, how would you want a wow wow brentley mallard is about to reply something so how would you want to of uh, or, or the girls how would you want the partner to be so that we don't ever end up saying thank god he's gone you know it's almost coming to that bad when she says free 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 it's almost like saying what i don't want him back do we want to become such partners do i want to become that kind of a wife do you want to become that kind of a wife or a beloved do you want to end up becoming such a husband do you want to become such a partner what are the three ways we decided in one of the lectures in one of the sessions that can help us and save us from this kind of a problem what was number 1 how can we save ourselves from becoming this kind of a partner at whose death the other person would be happy let's not become such partners let's become such people that people will miss us when we are gone oh when she used to be there it used to be so lovely how will i love live without him how will i live without her he made me feel special he would do so much for me or or, or the husband saying she used to do so much for me she was always there with lovely lovely solutions whenever i had some problems in my business in my work in my this yeah so what is that number one quality we really need to have whenever we are in a relationship number one you remember what was it what keeps away misunderstandings see mrs understandings will come up anywhere what is the way to remove them how do we remove our misunderstandings by being able to by being able to communicate come back forget about uh, let's forget that this is something very important kind of we are discussing by being able to communicate we should be able to tell the other person how i feel what i want if we keep telling no you know if you do this it will really make me happy and uh, you know the other person can say no i don't like when you do this you know though maybe you bring diamonds but i don't like them i hate diamonds can you please bring silver you know what i mean i'm just talking of some small example oh maybe the husband will tell the wife you know you keep cooking the whole day through i don't want so many good foods from you i don't want so much of good food can you please just simply make one dish today and just come and sit next to me and we'll talk and maybe you know there's a call i'm taking hello जी मैम लेकिन मैं अभी ना पढ़ा रही हूँ ऑनलाइन तो अभी तो मैं बात नहीं कर सकती हूँ ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू दे आर ऑल्सो ऑन वर्क यू नो कांट हेल्प इट उनका भी काम है उनका काम है कॉल करना से नॉर्मली टेक इट यू नो सो दैट एटलीस्ट उनका टारगेट रीच हो जाता है दैट कॉल वॉज पिकड अप अदरवाइज यू नो यंग चिल्ड्रन they are all young children and you know into into call centers and you know they have these calls to make and i always feel that uthayenge nahi to inka target achieve nahi hoga and they'll be out of job because uh, target not achieve so i just pick it up and i tell them i'm i'm sorry i won't be able to do what you want me to anyways so do you feel communication is very important between anyone any two three people uh, it can be student and teachers it can yes, be ma'am. parents it can be mother father it can be you know between anybody 
एंड नंबर टू है ना इम्पॉर्टेंट अच्छा कम्युनिकेशन कर पाने के लिए एक और चीज चाहिए होती है वेर वेर विल यू बी एबल टू कम्युनिकेट योर इनर फीलिंग्स एंड इनर थॉट्स वेर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अमनदीप वंडरफुल इफ वी नो द अदर पर्सन डज नॉट अंडरस्टैंड अस वुड यू एक्चुअली ओपन अप योर फीलिंग्स टू दैट पर्सन देन वी वॉन्ट देन वील रिमेन क्लोज देन वील बी ऑल क्लोज यू नो वील पुट एवरीथिंग इन साइडर्स एंड वील से कोई फायदा नहीं है बोलने का वो समझेंगे नहीं एंड डांट और पड़ जाएगी यू नो ब्ला 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 इट कुड बी हंड्रेड एंड अदर थिंग so we need to be second quality we all need to have in ourselves to become good people good partners understanding let's have understanding let's understand people rather than judge them let's understand ye aisa kuch keh rahe hain ki nahi mere ko diamonds mat do hai na mujhe to bas ek aap ek lakdi ka bhi koi cheez la ke de doge wo chalega but more important is आप अपने पेरेंट्स के सामने मुझे जोर से मत गुस्सा करा करो क्या है आप मेरे को डायमंड लाके देते हो एंड देन यू नो व्हेन योर पेरेंट्स आर सिटिंग माय फादर इन लॉ मदर इन लॉ आप उनके सामने मुझे डांट देते हो यू स्कोल मी एंड यू से व्हाट आर यू डूइंग सारा डायमंड बेकार हो जाता है आई डोंट नो आई डोंट नो देर कुड बी आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल आई एम जस्ट थिंकिंग इमेजिनिंग वॉट कुड बी दिंग मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अ पर्सन एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग understanding communicating and one more thing how these two things will happen is when we give space to the other person when we allow the other person when we trust the other person that whatever that person is doing must be all good give space do you think mrs malad had space in her relationship do you think she was allowed to do whatever she wanted yeah you think no, she no. at all no, right no. otherwise she would have not said free do, 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 don't you think so that that then she would have not said free do you think there was an understanding between the two people no there was no understanding again otherwise whatever she is telling us now she may have told him then that look you know i'm falling out of love and it's all because of this 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 that's happening that's all in your hands do you think they were communicating no ma'am they were not they were not they were like two people you know closeted they were like one discovered and and discovered and you know automatic they are like two robots and they go on doing their uh, every day whatever their works and duties were i do this 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 you do this 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 is all done wonderful good sleep get up again again get like a robo go on i don't think so there was any feelings involved no wonder now when this situation came in her life automatically from her inner soul the voice comes oh i'm free I'm free now. Now I'm able to do what I feel like, and you know that open window metaphor and all that happened. I hope it's getting clearer. I hope it's quite clear by now. Do we have Rashi in our class? It could be maybe brother sister's thing. And we are matter. having Kokila Modi also. <laughs> doesn't matter. Whoever doesn't matter. All these things, you know, it's okay. Let them be, you know. Come on, I should not become Mr. Malad, is it not? Hey, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, I I take my lesson. Let me not become Mr. Malad. It's okay. Somebody wants to come as Kokila Modi. You're welcome. It's okay. Will it make a difference? It won't. I know because whoever that person is will be there with us, enjoying what they are doing and yet listening to our session. So, you think it will really harm us if Kokila Modi is with us? I don't even know who. No, ma'am. By the way, uh, by the way, I am so poor at all this. I don't even know who Kokila Modi is. By the way, tell me, throw some light. Who is Kokila Modi? Ma'am, she is mother-in-law of uh, Rashi. And who is Rashi? In a daily soap. 
Okay. So in a daily oh, soap. All right. This is some soap. So I haven't watched television now for I don't know how many years. It must be ten years. Uh, though, though you know, you can see it here. You know, though I have this here, but it doesn't work. <laughs> you know, like we don't get time to switch it on. Also, uh, we are busy throughout the day, and you can see it right here. But uh, no. So okay. So there's some Rashi, and then there is some Kokila Ben, which you know. Well, keep enjoying your soap. I have I have these classes and they are the best soaps. You know they are more real. I don't get into into all the serial and all that. There's so much happening in our own lives. That's why we don't get time to talk, communicate. Then the gaps come in, and then we all start having these problems. So I I removed TV from my life long, long, long back. I actually never had uh, you know the TV. Having is another thing, but. Uh, never had time for me because I just thought it. It's better to sit and talk with a person in during that time and know the other person, understand the other person's problem, what the person wants from me, how can we become better. So I just thought, you know, doing that rather than entering into somebody else's home, you know, that TV serial, and see what is that person doing to that person. That will not help me improve. Up to you how you take your life. But we did have a poem in class ten, television. You remember? Did you do it? I don't know. Maybe you didn't have it uh, during your time. Doesn't matter. So, anyways, coming back to our own story here. Let's go on and read. So here she is coming down, right? So she is coming down, and we have uh, Mr. Mallard here. So please read on, and let's see what happens to Mrs. Mallard. Yeah, who's taking us ahead? Radhika or anyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, please do. But Richards fought too late. Richards did. Richards did come in front, right? Richard thought, "Let me hide him, and I'll give a surprise." You know, to to Louis. That Louis, look, what do we have here? You know, he thought, "I'll break the surprise to him." They go, "Kone," you know. So Louis Butt was very late. You know, by the time he came here, uh, sorry, Mr. Richards was very late. Louis, in the meantime, had already seen Mr. Mallard. Let's see what happens in the last line. Yeah, he don't. When the doctors came, they said she had died of heart disease or joy that kills. Are we having two minutes silence? Everybody is so quiet. What happened to me? She's dead. Yes, she's dead. She just died. After seeing her husband, she died. Of happiness? She was no of shock. Happy. No. Of shock. No. Of shock. How do we know? Maybe, maybe she was so thrilled to have him back, and you know, it was like, oh my God, I can't take this happiness. It's he's back, he's alive. Oh my God! Ah. And she has a heart attack. Was it joy that killed her? What will Josephine think? That she was too happy to see her husband. That she died. Yes, ma'am. What will Mr. Richards think? The same. And what do you think? Those who were so close to her, those who had become real friends for her, with whom she had shared her inner feelings, 
what do you say why did she die she died of shock shock of, of seeing her husband back shock of what no, no, shock of becoming a back. robot again shock of becoming priya puts it as becoming a robo again shock of what else ansh end end of her short lived freedom yes she had just started when she start want to start her new life and want to free from slavery and her that dream was broken crushed broken yes ma'am you mean you got you you putting very nice words that a dream gets broken here and yes, when a dream gets i'm missing divyanshu here because yesterday he was talking about something like this you know and he's on a medical leave he told me he is not well i think i put down that information right so i think dream you know something very close to our heart can be very life threatening can be very life threatening she was alive as long as she was a slave interesting you know this story has paradoxes and paradoxes contrasts one after the other it's like a twist and a twist when she used to live as a slave she was surviving why do you think she was surviving then she was alive no but she is used with that situation and very, then when he very died. good very good very good words ansh she had just become immune to it you know it was like no nah, i'm living with corona uh, i mean not that i want to use such a bad word for anyone but i'm just giving a situation is like you know kind of trying to live with corona so so you're very careful of what you do you kind of become like priya has used the word you end up becoming a robo and you just carry on and you say okay this is life then so be it and take it you know you kind of put your feelings you know into a, you know somewhere you lock them away and you you, you throw the key away and you know, people put diamonds in in locker and you put your feelings in a locker and you say ye yeah, feelings ka koi jagah nahi hai meri life mein nobody bothers about my feelings let me just put away my feelings away and just let me live life of a duty let me just do my duties that's all there's so many of us who end up only doing duties you know Maybe even as a teacher, as a teacher, I have felt that many of us just do our duties. Do you agree that? Do you agree to that? Can you feel the difference? That is it a duty or is it a duty with the beauty? <laughs> you know what I mean by beauty? I meant feelings. Do you think that there is a difference uh, uh, in a classroom where where we have uh, duty plus beauty beauty i mean by beauty of feelings when we can combine both the things and then or or a room where we have only duty being done you know there's something being done do you think there's a difference between the two yes ma'am and do we want to live our life like that yes ma'am with only duty no ma'am ma'am duty with duty with ha na duty yeah. with feelings i i i think we've just got a nice word incidentally today that duty with beauty makes life worth yes, a while it makes everything so sweet even the toughest of the things can become so simple so nice so interesting if only done with feelings and where do feelings come in where we can communicate where we can understand each other where we know the other person will not judge us where i think trust trust yes and unfortunately mrs malard missed all this in her life with her life with the life partner with the person whom now she will be spending whole life what does she do and you have rightly put it no wonder when she sees him alive she dies because a dream of becoming